Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use an SD card with Wii Flow and USB Loader GX. So this pretty much works exactly the same way as a USB or hard drive would work. So what you will need, you will need a USB to um, SD adapter, um, like this one right here. You can get many different types, but pretty much what happens is you just plug the SD card in like that, and then you will just plug it into the correct slot on your Wii. So this pretty much loads at the same speed as hard drives and USBs. Um, it may be slightly slower because you're connecting it like via two things, but apart from that, it's still a very playable um, option. Also guys, just another quick note, you will still need an SD card plugged into your Wii um, with your apps on and stuff like that. There is no way that you can install WBFS games on this SD card and play them. Um, so obviously, so this setup pretty much just includes two SD cards. So I'm just going to head over to my PC and show you guys what you need to do to set up the SD card. Right guys, so once you're on your PC and your SD card is plugged in, here is mine here, I've plugged it in using the adapter. All you want to do is format it to FAT32. So just go ahead, right click, format, and select FAT32 and default allocation size and then click start. Then just click OK. And guys, the format is now complete, so you can click OK and then close out of that. Now what you need to do is just go onto your SD card, right click here and create a new folder, and call the folder WBFS. Just like that. So this video is pretty much just a proof of concept video, so I'm not going to be using um, Backup Manager in this video. I've got a game right here, it's actually a NES game, and it's converted to a WBFS file. So all I have to do is literally just drag and drop it across. Most of you watching this video will be very familiar with Backup Manager, um, USB Loader GX and Wii Flow and that kind of stuff. Um, if you're not, I do have many other tutorials where I show you guys how to convert your ISO into a WBFS file for um, USB Loader. Anyway, so here's my SD card, here's my WBFS file, here's the game, and that is pretty much it for the setup of the SD card. Now I'm just going to plug this into my Wii and show you guys that it's pretty much exactly the same as USBs and hard drives. Right guys, so I'm over on my Wii right now. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and open up the homebrew channel. Now you can choose what you want to launch, any kind of um, loading any kind of program that load games from a USB or hard drive. So I'm just going to go ahead and use USB Loader GX. That is probably my favourite one. So it's going to scan for a USB device and it is going to pick up my SD card. So there it is guys, there is the NES game that I copied across. Um, as you can see, it's noticed that my SD card is only 2GB, it's not a very big card. I'm just going to go ahead and launch this game. Um, this will work with normal Wii games as well, it's just the card's so small I couldn't fit any Wii games onto it. But I managed to get this um, Super Nintendo game or NES game, I can't remember which one it is. But Super Mario All-Stars for the, um, yeah I'm pretty sure it's for the NES. So let me just show you some gameplay quickly. So here is the game just um, running at full speed. Um, you don't really get any speed issues when running games off an SD card. So yeah guys, this is pretty much just a proof of concept video to prove that it works because I get many comments saying can I use my Wii's SD card to play the games instead of using a USB and guys you can but it's just a bit different, you will need an SD card adapter. So that is pretty much it for this video, if you guys enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.